2023 as far as crude is concerned. I was like, I thought there was a recession that was coming, <laughs> exactly. right? Or wasn't that the plan? <laughs> it, there's so much bullishness. I mean, uh, where is the recession? I think it's about Chinese demand, the tightness yeah. in the markets and all of that really seems to be supporting. And the fact we haven't seen the Russia impact come in yet, mm. that also Street is anticipating will come in later. My positive takeaway is if oil has to go up so much, the, the dollar has to maybe. come down. <laughs> rates have to come down. Something has to give, right? So maybe that would be the silver lining. But anyway, thank you very much, Manisha, for that very interesting uh, analysis on oil prices. Uh, very quickly going to the stock of the day from the mid-cap markets. And that's sequence scientific. 12% higher because they have backtracked and will not do an acquisition. Let's get in Ekta. Ekta, why is the street so happy about this? Thanks for that. Well, yes, the news on Sequence Scientific is that they have terminated the acquisition of Tineta Pharma Private Limited. Now, this acquisition was announced just a couple of months ago in November of 2022. It was under share purchase agreement, which has not materialized as per the company. Now, Tineta Pharma is basically an India-focused livestock company. The acquisition was for an enterprise value of around 218 odd crores, and it was going to be paid as cash consideration of around 153 crores and a preferential allotment of around 65 odd crores. The transaction was expected to close in Q4 of FI23. The company had in fact indicated uh, that the acquisition closure was dragging a bit in uh, a conference call that they had held recently with analysts. Now, why exactly is the uh, street happy that this acquisition has not gone through? Because the business has anyway been very challenged in the past couple of quarters. For example, the stock is down 55% from its 52-week high. Separately, as of Q3, the company continued to make losses. In fact, its losses uh, continued for the third consecutive quarter. They had single-digit margins for four consecutive quarters. And in fact, margins have been below 3% for three consecutive quarters now. So that's the kind of trajectory that you've seen for Sequence Scientific in terms of numbers. Also, their net debt had risen as of Q3. It had gone up to around 363 odd crores, which compares to 340 crores in Q2 of FI23 and 250 crores that they ended FI22 with. So this definitely would probably come as a sigh of relief. All right. Thanks a lot, Ekta, for that. So that's uh, Sequence Scientific up 12%. Let's slip into a quick break on that note. On the other side, it's our special segment. It's The Economy. Lata will get chatting with Santanu Sengupta of Goldman Sachs to get a sense of India's macro environment. Stay tuned.